Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa Transcendence Brown from AwakeningToRemembering.com and I decided to come do a video with you, you all today on many things. Um, but we're going to start out with multidimensional consciousness, existence, not just consciousness, actually being multidimensional here in the physical world um, as many perceive it to be. We um, have spent years um, mastering this and we have come to a time that we embody more here than we ever have before. Uh, multiple dimensional realms, um, not an etheric state any longer. This is where many are confused. Um, our realities flip and merge and we walk in the higher realms. We walk in the outer realms from outside the matrix from beyond here. Um, in a physical body, it's a suit, it's a vessel, it's whatever you want to call it. Um, sometimes it's our time capsule. Um, it's a lot of things depending on the day because being multidimensional means in every moment we're something different. It's very cool. We hop a lot. Um, most people um, have absolutely no idea what all of this means. Um, it becomes quite fun uh, along the way. Uh, once we get through the rough stuff, which is what a lot of people are going through right now, I'm seeing it, um, not much though, because you can't see it from the higher realms unless it's right there in your reality. Um, and usually if it's in your reality, there's something you haven't cleared. Lately, I have been able to observe um, how vastly um, fast things are going with the quickening and the photonic light activations that are occurring inside of us. Um, and lighten everything up so that we can expand uh, beyond this physical place and also exist here. We've been anchoring in for a very long time. It seems like we're anchoring in every day lately. It seems like we are expanding every day now. Um, it is important to understand that a lot of people are suffering to the physical aspects of it, the physical body, um, the emotional aspects of it as they let go, the physical world aspects of it as things that um, they programmed in their reality to occur um, are shocking to them. Uh, they do not understand what's going on. I'm getting a lot of messages and emails from people wanting to know why they would, why these things are happening to them. Um, Rose and I did a video uh, about a year ago on this uh, about what happens uh, when it's time for one's soul, higher self, Higher version, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Galactic version needs to wake up because we do go beyond uh, human ascension when we ascend. Uh, we then go on to um, galactic and ancient uh, civilizations and all of our own um, rememberings from there come inside of us and become uh, who we are. It's not a I remember this, it's a I am this. It is quite different when it uh, comes from inside instead of out there. Um, you will find I do not channel anymore. I speak what is mine. And so um, once we ascend in physical form, uh, then we hold all of this inside and, and we embody much um, expansion of the physical body um, continues to occur for a lot of people. Um, and then when all of the density is gone, um, then it's just an expansion here. And um, that is a bit of explanation that would have to take a bit longer than this. Um, the uh, quantum field, the unified, unified field, and where all existed inside of us and how once it's released, how amazing and awesome it is because when all of that goes then we can see all of the dimensions or multiple dimensions or a multitude of dimensions at one time and we don't just see them we walk in them we are them we um, you can see multiple parallels you can see multiple realities um, and as of uh, last night I had a um, portal open up and it's like just reach through and grab anything you want that was pretty cool. And then I spent the whole night in what others perceive as an etheric realm. 
For me, it's the closed eye state and um, that allows me access to a simultaneous reality that's occurring that my brain has not um, accessed before. And so when my I shut down, then that part of me uh, wakes up. I don't do much in a closed eye state uh, much anymore. That's just a place to clear anything that's human and old parallels and realities. As we hit all of these higher frequencies, then they're collapsing. Uh, time just absolutely does not exist. We don't live by it. Nobody cares if it's day or night. We just go and do what we need to do. Um, dark and light. And we created that. That will go soon too. It's been going a lot already. Um, we have the beautiful uh, metallic um, as these uh, energies and um, the electromagnetic field that is activating is massive. The water turns into electricity and beautiful metallic colors, silver, greens, and blues. I've been trying to capture it on camera, um, but my camera got, uh, the ocean came up and got my phone and my camera and stuff recently, so I'm using my phone. Um, the phone actually captures beautiful pictures and sometimes better than the camera. So the other day, uh, the Lemurian ocean lit up electrically and started glowing in beautiful greens and blues and there have been um, beings everywhere and that has been really cool that we can now see um, access to multiple dimensions in a waking state one has to know what to look for one has to know uh, how to pay attention um, one has to really choose to want to do this and make a choice um, lately for me it's been interesting because so much is activated and it's so fast um, <laughs> and we have no human comprehension of any of this uh, before it happens a lot of the time um, we used to say in the moment, be in the moment it's in the second now it is so fast, we have quickened uh, the cool part is out there is we function at a very slow pace and, and time just doesn't exist and so we accomplish a lot that other people perceive as really fast. Um, for us, it's really slow. And so when I think I'm behind on things, I'm not. So that's cool, because i got plenty of time to do what I want. And then other days, it'll speed up and I don't. I find that if I'm trying to do anything human or adhere to a clock, time goes. So we don't do much human stuff here. We allow everything to flow. All right. Uh, let's see. What can we talk about? Oh, human aspects. Version. Realities, dimensions, all cool. I have been able to see one that I can't see the lower version of anybody anymore. It doesn't exist. And as humans, all we saw was the lower version, and then we looked for the higher version. Apparently, I have um, integrated enough uh, that all I could see is the higher version first. Then I have something come along to tell me that there's still a lower version left, uh, which is cool because that means I'm about to work well, walk with a lot of higher versions here. Um, I am aware that um, I'm seeing different versions of people. Um, it's very cool uh, because it allows me to, s one, when I see someone, I know which version it is. I can tell the frequency. And so. Um, the other thing is to let go of any version that isn't in resonant with us uh, because you can't get the next version if you're hanging on to the old one um, and this is inside of you so realities, same thing you gotta let go of the old version of realities, the old programs, the old realms the old dimensions, doesn't matter what you want to call it um, I've started closing portals um, I did not know I could do this um, I've been opening portals for a very long time, and I can open them really fast now. Boom, boom, boom. Lots of portals, and they're amazing. Um, the Lemurian, uh, when recently that activated, was huge. Um, the merging of Atlantis and Lemuria inside of me, and then the integration um, was really fast. Um, God consciousness that came through pushed up a bunch of old, ancient... Um, separations of, of masculine and feminine and all of those are coming in and merging as well so I've gone through so many mergings of masculine and feminine raw came out of my back energetically and then came right back in and then whoop, inside 
integration, well, the next day. Um, you name it. Pretty interesting here. Um, I tell people, this is my world, I can do what I want. It's my head, I can think anything I want. Um, oh, I do want to talk about uh, what's really cool is energetically, my field apparently has gotten so huge. Uh, I have hit a certain frequency that now, uh, with the activation of the Lemurian energies inside, I wrote an actual activation the other day for everybody else, knowing that as soon as I did, I was activating myself. I've done this before with everyone I've written. Uh, wiping the templates, wipe my own. Um, the one with the ancient um, energies um, <laughs> activated my own. Gotta love my work because everything I do for somebody else um, does for me too. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so um, when I integrated uh, Lemurian and Atlantis inside, a lot of anger, lots of betrayal, lots of all kinds of energies came up to go. I just walked down to the beach say, okay, let's do this, bring it up. I have no idea what's going on at the time. Pretty amazing um, what occurs. Um, and then to pull away a lot, pull away a lot lately, because we have to allow for the peace that we feel to anchor in. And so there's been a lot of silence. Uh, words just absolutely don't work anymore. Um, I am enjoying and a lot of uh, telepathic, energetic communication. Uh, words need not be spoken. Um, that has been pretty profound. And uh, just to be around others and not have to say anything. Um, the frequency of thought has been an interference um, because now I can tell when that one's heart is open or it's closed and they can be across the room in another room, they can be across the house. Um, as soon as one starts to think, my field picks up on it and it interferes with my field and I had to start shutting down other people's fields and, and saying, you know what, quit thinking, you're messing with my energy here. So, um, see, I'm trying to touch on everything I've experienced lately, which is a whole lot. The Lemurian um, activation was massive for me. Um, I've been activating the mermaid uh, frequencies for quite some time, opening portals and uh, working with the mirror people. Um, capturing uh, faces, uh, capturing little beings um, on camera as well and sharing them. Y'all gotta come visit me on Facebook. I do a lot on there. I share everything I have um, as it comes forth. The ancient knowledge um, is beyond here. Um, it's mine. I share it. It comes through. It's my my encoded DNA, and I hit the frequency, and I don't have to go tap into anything in order to bring it forth. I just share it right then and there. Um, divine soul reunions. That one was huge. Not one I expected. And um, and physical here. I was under the perception. Uh, yes, that was a human thing. Uh, that. Um, once I was shown that as we, after we ascended, as an ascended master here, and then once I um, merged the masculine and feminine way back before um, my Merkaba activated to, to bring me here in the physical, um, to exist on New Earth as everybody refers to it, and the first time I uh, was shown that's where I was, I couldn't believe it. It took a lot um, for my head to catch up. And now I run and play on New Earth and bring other people here because we become actual portals. Now I'm going back to my field because y'all know I go all the way around the world to come back and share. A portal. When I am an ascension portal, we all are in a way. And once we've activated that part of us, all one has to do is step into my field. And I can bring them right into the higher realms just by being there with me. It's pretty cool. It's been happening a lot. The stronger my field gets and the more light it emits. Now, the funny part is I have found that people can't stay awake around me. And the frequency apparently emitting is so high. After I activated the Lemurian frequencies, a song now plays, and every time that song starts playing, it puts people to sleep. Now, apparently I'm transmitting tones because the, the song is um, Go to Sleep Little Baby, and a Brother Where Art there, Thou. And it was the sirens, and I was shown and that I was activating the siren frequency inside of me. I did not know what that was. Um, but I, the song started playing, I went and looked it up, and I'm like, no wonder I was drawn to that song, and I was obsessed with it for a really long time. Now, the song will start to play, and everybody falls asleep. Uh, 
their veils are removed and their heart opens immediately. Um, I can do this myself at will. I can bring anybody through to the higher realms and physical with me. And they have to choose it. And they have to let go. And they got to believe the wild, wacky, weird stuff. Uh, and they do. Um, it's really, really cool that I can speak absolutely anything and people get it. And because I'm transmitting a frequency that resonates inside. Um, I've had several occasions lately to interact with others and all I have to do is speak and reach over and touch their heart and activate them. I had a, I do light body, Merkaba, um, Stargate activations, um, Star Beam, um, all of them. It's all the same thing, multidimensional. I can pull somebody's energy into multiple realms and remove uh, diseases. Um, I don't quote that, um, whatever, I don't care. I can bring one's body out of the dimension that that it existed in and I can bring them into a different dimensional version of themselves in the physical and so that they can clear whatever needs to be cleared and let it go with great ease without the suffering that they did anymore. Uh, we have superpowers and they are intensifying. Um, many days I wonder if my hands are going to start shooting light so that someone can see it. I have it visible to those who can see uh, in other ways. Um, my hands get so jacked up, the crystals in them heat up. All I gotta do is rub them together and I am completely transmitting light. And I did a session recently where I just reached over and the words were reach over and remove the veils. I reached into their energy. I removed all the veils. I will, um, there are some amazing things happening um, that go beyond the physical world. Uh, I don't try to convince anything. Uh, anybody of anything, I don't really care. Um, those who know me, those who come along with me on Facebook or some of the other places as well, those who watch the videos, those who do the courses, um, they get it because they get shut down too. They have to go to sleep. <laughs> it's called light encodements, light activations, and you can receive instantly on your end. All I have to do is speak a tone, transmit light. Let's see if I can do this. I did it before, so. Okay, yeah. Let's see if my hand lights the screen up. See the light coming out? Uh, see how bright it gets? Now, that's only one hand. And I can do that. In a multitude of ways. So, anyway, we get to play and have a lot of fun. Yesterday, I morphed in a photo to... Um, mermaid. It's pretty cool. I'm saving that one. I've got the ones where I've glowed in uh, purple and blue. Now the only reason I tell you all these things is so you can see. And um, this is a, um, a real tangible thing. It's not something that's off. People talking, oh, 26,000 years from now, five years from now, two years from now. It's time. We don't live there. We bypassed that a long time ago. We quantum jump. We leap. We hop, we slide, we do all kinds of things here. All we have to do is hit the frequency of that dimensional realm. We have to hold it long enough, and we have to allow ourselves to expand. We have to let go of everything of the old realms and quit holding on. Uh, we fly here. We float. Um, and yes, in physical form. Yes, I am an ascended master. In the physical, I have been. Um, I transcended the human experience a long time ago. I have not lived inside the veils for a very long time. Um, utter and complete unity is required for this in every way, shape, or form. Now, there is a part of this journey that most don't understand, and it is the journey of saying, no, not acceptable. It is the part of saying, not my reality. It's not okay. It's boundaries that we didn't have, and making sure that we have them then we don't need them anymore. Um, but there are, are many times that we have the energy shift that we have to utilize boundaries for this, and it is a necessity. Um, choice, necessity. Most don't want to choose. Most want to wait until everything's been removed and taken away from them before they start doing anything. That's why I do what I do, is to help others not lose everything and be able to make a choice. Um, it's much more fun expanding into multiple dimensions before you lose everything. You get to have a lot more fun. You get to use what you have to help other people. You get to use what you have to bring people together. You get to use what you have to still enjoy life, 
but you do have to let go of absolutely everything as you once knew it. Here, especially, because this is your veil. The rest is in your body, it's in your emotions. This is where it all is. And this is where I mess with. This is, I love messing with people's heads, where you have to break the mind. And this is why you see so many people having nervous breakdowns. Physical body has to break down, the mental body has to break down, the emotional body. Gotta have a breakdown, it's gotta go. And the less we fight, the less we have to break down. So we work to assist people now. Let go of the fight. Why do you want to fight? You don't have to fight anymore. Nobody cares. The only one that does is you. Quit fighting. Take what you got. Put it in what you do desire. Now, there are so many things um, about this that it can't be spoken in, in a 20-minute video or 30 or whatever the case may be, even a few hours. I mean, I did three 16-hour back-to-back courses. Still don't even touch it. Don't cover it. Um, we cover it as it occurs, which is why we do the courses and because we're able to do it there. All right, let's see what I can talk about. Um, our energetic field. Yep. Shutting people down, putting them to sleep. Um, if they already operate in this vibration, they don't go to sleep. Um, but we do keep waking people up. Then we have stargates. Uh, we are human stargates, so we can take them through to the galactic realms as well. That one's getting really fun. Portals abound. Now you can activate a portal, you activate it from inside, then you expand it so huge that you just walk through it in the physical. Then it is your world. So that's a short version of how it works. The rest is other stuff that we share. And the boomerang effect, I want to talk about that right now, the photonic light activations, the um, electromagnetic energy. Intense is an understatement. Now, on my end, it's awesomely intense. I am not happy if I'm not getting jacked up 24 hours a day with energy and electricity. Um, not the case for most people. It's pretty rough. I already went through that. You don't have to suffer anymore. I let that part go. Um, you don't have to suffer. That's a belief system. Uh, we don't have to. Suffering, anytime you are, you're in your head. And we bypass that. So, boomerang effect very fast. If you fall out of alignment, boom, right back on you. Really quick. And the thing about it is, it's the photonic energies, the way they are, they magnify everything. So the boomerang effect is not just, oh, I'm not going to do that. I knew better, but I didn't listen. It's not just a little slap upside the head. It is a universal, I used to call it a universal 2 by 4 Then for me, it was 12 by 12 It's so much bigger than that. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like taking an airplane and knocking somebody else out the head. It's huge. Um, talk about adjustments uh, to a reality. They're, they're big now. Um, whatever it takes to get your heart open is what's going to happen. Um, if you're shut down, if you're closed off, if you've been hanging on, if you have not been listening to your higher self, a higher room guidance, um, from a place of love, honor, and integrity, and respect, and doing what you've been shown. If you're avoiding, if you're holding on to fear, something is going to happen um, in order to shift that for you. Now, luckily, with the veils being removed, a lot of people are seeing very clear. Um, first thing they do is get confused and start pointing fingers out there. That's the first part of their process. We all left that a long time ago. We know, go inside, get it right. Then, and the outside adjusts as well. Tuning frequencies. This is magnificent fun. One of my favorite parts, obviously. Um, lately, I have spent a lot of time just being an energetic being. That's all I am. I'm just energy. And just being energy is exquisite because it's, that is the essence of who we are. When I walk around, I'm just energy. I don't care. I put all those titles on my name out there and, and tell people who I am so they can find me. doesn't matter. i got people show up in my inbox all day long, every day, saying I came to them in their sleep state. And then they wake up, and their higher self tells them to go find me. They can't find me. I don't put all that stuff under my name. So technically, that's for them. It's also to empower others, to let them know, this is it. We're here. We've done it. Um, we are so far beyond the old ways. Let them go. You've got to believe. you got to believe in something bigger than you've ever believed before. You gotta believe in what's in your heart so strongly 
but your mind doesn't doesn't run the show anymore. Um, you have entirely new programs inside your DNA. You've got new programs activating in every moment. Now, the problem, not really because there are none, is that you believe the old programming. You can't do that. Um, so uh, this is why I do what I do is to assist others with activating the new programming, activating that new DNA, activate the abundance inside of you. It exists. And it's simple. This is the part of it that's cool. It is so very simple. You just got to want more. And you got to make a choice and say, I really want that. And I'm going to do whatever it takes. Because you know what? I am worth it. And you know what? I'm sick of this. I don't want this anymore. And you know what? I want to be happy. I want to live from my heart. I want to be free. I want to be who I truly am again inside and let it all go so I think I've covered enough I had an entire list of stuff to talk about but I think I'm, that's not a good note to say come figure out who you are you can come to my page and follow it or write on Facebook there are a multitude of people out there doing this we have spent years we have networked we share we share love we share our ancient memories we do this together now, everybody's understandings will be different just because of the frequency that they're at. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Find somebody you resonate with and go listen to it. Don't um, mess with your head too much. Get out of all the head stuff. Um, nobody cares anymore. We live from our heart. And when you live from your heart, everything changes in the moment, in the second. What you thought you were going to do, it changes. Boom. Forget about that. Go on. You're on to something else because what will happen is a little while later, that frequency activate again, you'll be right back doing that again. But it won't be the way you thought it was, because we hop quantum style. So I love you. And I may not have talked about anything at all, but you know what? That's kind of how I do this. I just talk about whatever comes out. So y'all who know me and y'all have been along with me, I absolutely love you. And beyond. And uh, if you're going to be coming to Kauai, Come see me. I'm going to be traveling a bit. I'm going to be doing some workshops in mainland and some other places um, after um, I attend a wedding, um, a very important wedding for my son. So um, I get to see my grand baby you know, very soon. Then it's back to what I do, which is bringing people through to the higher realms, bringing people through to the other side, bringing people through to galactic cities, bringing people through to remember who they truly are inside. And that exists so far beyond this place, but that's where you got to go, so far beyond this place. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, it's inside. And then it grows so big, you're walking in it. And you're creating as a master being here. And that reality, nothing occurs out there. But you're not creating um, and recognizing that you already did. So, I love you. And have a magnificent whatever, and I'll see you very soon. Mahalo.